Well, good morning. Thank you for the kind introduction, and, and it's really great to be here. And I also want to thank the organizers and Rachel. This is a great group of people assembled here today. I want to first talk about BP's business in Alaska, which I'm very passionate about, and then spend a little bit of time about a subject that BP we're passionate about, and that's the energy transition. Let's see if I can get the slides here. Works. BP has been operating in the Alaskan Arctic for more than 50 years. We are the proud operator of the giant Prudhoe Bay field, which is the third largest oil field in North America by proved reserves. Prudhoe Bay is situated on the shore of the Arctic Ocean, 250 miles above the Arctic Circle, and the temperature is rarely below minus 40 degrees or above 67 degrees Fahrenheit. The region is home to caribou and grizzly and polar bears, Arctic fox, wolves, and wolverines, and over 30 species of birds, including shorebirds, waterfowls, and others. BB began working in Alaska in 1959. We started drilling in Prudhoe in 1968 and helped build the Trans-Alaska Pipeline System in the mid-70s. And in 1977, Prudhoe and TAP started up, and BP has been part of operating Prudhoe Bay ever since. The past four decades of oil and gas development in Alaska have changed Alaskan lives and provided opportunities for people across the state. Prudhoe Bay and TAPS enabled the creation of the Alaska Permanent Fund, enabled the state to build infrastructure and provide services that benefit all Alaskans, and fostered community and economic empowerment for Alaska. for so many Alaskans. It's about lifting people out of poverty. Well over a decade has been added to the life of Alaskans. In the field produced an average of 270,000 barrels of oil per day, which accounts for more than half of Alaska's total oil production down taps. It was originally predicted that Prudhoe Bay would have a lifespan of only 30 years and would produce nine and a half billion barrels. Well, today, we're 41 plus years old and 13 billion barrels produced. We've surpassed that early prediction. But we know that what got us here won't take us there. And what is that desired future? Well, it's about 40 more. It's an important foundation for the future of Alaska to keep the great Prudhoe Bay going. So we've got to get and embrace technology. So in every part of our Alaska business, we're using technology and innovation to transform the way that we work. We just completed a massive 3D seismic survey of the field that's over 450 square miles and it's the largest we've ever done. New state-of-the-art technology will give us the best subsurface view we have ever had of Prudhoe to help maximize production and extend that life over decades. Across the business, we are implementing new technologies like drones and virtual reality, artificial intelligence, and robotic inspection crawlers. We are looking at every aspect of our operations as we embrace change, technology, and new ways of working to help create a longer-term future for Prudhoe Bay. Innovation is at the heart of what we are doing in Alaska and across BP. Which brings me to my next topic, the global energy transition. Innovation and this transition go hand in hand. At BP, we talk a lot about this, but what does it really mean? Especially when we talk about a field like Prudhoe Bay producing for years to come. Well, let's take a look at a video.
the desire to improve ourselves. It's an instinct we all share. One characteristic that binds all of humanity. Just look around. It drives every advancement in medicine, scientific achievements, artistic movements, sporting triumphs, and technological breakthroughs. The fruits of human endeavor are in everything we see. Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you hear your voice? <laughs> and here at BP, we're proud to have helped fuel progress for more than a century. But now, we need to look to the future with fresh eyes. Because over the coming years, billions of people will lift themselves out of poverty, making the demand for energy and the demands on our planet greater than ever. This is the dual challenge, one of the greatest issues of our time. The world needs more energy, yes, but energy that's kinder to our planet. Not just tomorrow, today, now. We need to learn from the past. Work harder than ever to create cleaner, greener, smarter energy, safely. We know we can't do it alone. We all need to play our part. Businesses, governments, you, me, everyone. It won't be easy. True progress seldom is. But with our scale and know-how, our partnerships and new investments, we'll search for the energy the world needs to progress. Seeking new possibilities in everything, everywhere. So we can keep powering dreams and ambitions. Because we don't just produce energy. We advance it. Technology has advanced through the decades. These are three lessons that really help with our current energy transition. First, it's access to reliable and affordable energy that's essential to reducing poverty and raising living standards. Second, energy transitions tend to unfold over decades rather than years. And third, energy transitions cannot be driven by one industry let alone by one company. Everybody has a role to play. Governments, industry, consumers, society as a whole. As we all know, and as the video explains, the world faces a dual energy challenge. Meet rising global energy demand while simultaneously reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Demand is rising because of population growth and rising prosperity. And BP projects that the world will consume about 64% more electricity by 2040 than it does today. And over that same period, the world needs to reduce carbon emissions roughly by half in order to meet the Paris climate goals. Again, the dual challenge. Providing the energy essential to human prosperity while also reducing greenhouse gas emissions. So what is BP doing? Well, at BP, we strongly support the transition to a lower carbon economy. And we have tied it all to a larger business strategy using a simple framework we call Reduce, Improve, Create, or RIC for short. Globally, we're working to reduce emissions in our operations. We're improving our products and we're creating new low carbon businesses while growing our established portfolio of renewables. About a year ago, BP set clear, near-term, and specific targets aimed at reducing its emissions and advancing the energy transition, including achieving 3.5 million tons of sustainable greenhouse gas emissions reductions across BP from 2016 to 2025, and targeting a methane intensity of 0.2%. In the years since, BP total direct greenhouse gas emissions fell by 1.7 million tons CO2 equivalent, despite a 3% growth in oil and gas production on the same basis. 
By the end of 2018, BP had generated 2.5 million tons of sustainable greenhouse gas emissions reductions throughout its businesses since 2016. BP's methane intensity in 2018 was 0.2%, right in line with the target. And last month, we announced $100 million to fund new emissions reductions projects. Businesses and employees throughout BP's upstream businesses are being invited to come up with ideas and propose projects for this funding, including in Alaska. Big ideas or small ideas, it doesn't matter. It's going to take all of us to transition to a lower carbon future, and everyone at BP has a role to play. For our part in BP Alaska, we're working to reduce carbon emissions in line with our larger global strategy. While maintaining oil production relatively flat over the past four years, we've also reduced our greenhouse gas emissions by approximately 2% through projects and optimization. We recently completed a compressor upgrade project at Prudhoe, and we continue to seek greenhouse gas emission reductions from both new projects and ongoing operations. For the last few years, we've been working with multiple Alaska Native corporations on carbon credit offset projects through the California Air Resource Board. We recently completed two very large ones. One, Sea Alaska in Southeast Alaska, and the second with Atna in Central Alaska. Carbon offsets are created through investments in activities that either reduce greenhouse gas or absorb carbon dioxide. These projects fall under the latter category. With each of these projects, the Alaska Native Corporation that owns the land has agreed to maintain and enhance the carbon store of their forests and verify it for at least 100 years, according to the protocols that are all set forth by the California Cap and Trade Program. These projects support sustainable future management and multi-use access of the forest land and create economic opportunities for the region. Carbon offsetting is essential for reaching the Paris goals, and we consider it valuable supplement to our own emissions reductions activities. Finally, for industry in Alaska, one of the biggest contributions to efficient and cost-effective emissions reductions is to expand the use of natural gas as a clean and low-carbon source of energy. BP has worked with industry partners and the state of Alaska to advance the Alaska LNG project. In May of 2018, BP announced a gas sales precedent agreement between BP Alaska and the Alaska Gas Line Development Corporation, an important milestone in moving the project forward. If sanctioned, the project would move North Slope gas to overseas markets, allowing Alaska to play a key role in the global gas transition. The state of Alaska is uniquely positioned to lead and benefit from the energy transition and could supply significant volumes of liquefied natural gas from the North Slope. Now I hope what all of this shows is that we embrace this challenge and we plan to do our part to reduce emissions across all of our businesses, improve the products we make, and create low carbon businesses. Our industry has advanced human progress in our state and across the globe providing opportunities for better health care, education, and jobs. But we also recognize the dual challenge created by resource development, and that we have a key role to play as a solution partner. Even under highly aggressive carbon reduction scenarios, oil and gas will remain a significant part of the global energy mix for decades to come. And our industry will continue to play a significant role in funding essential services and enhancing quality of life. This is the dual challenge. It won't be easy, but BP is up to the challenge and well positioned to do its part. And partnering with the resilient Arctic people of Alaska, we will continue to improve the quantity and quality of life while providing real solutions for the dual challenge. Thank you.